All right, I found us. Yep. Uh, I think it's alt ping if I want to move you guys. Maybe it's shift ping. I don't remember. Whichever. Did the rest of you guys find your characters? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because Zern's running ahead of you. <laughs> All right, show Zern. Did we leave the stairs as a slide? Yes, you did. All the way around we go. Around where we found? Oh, there's there's the other door. The other there. stairs. <laughs> the other way out. <laughs> this is Wait. why you don't make them stair slides. <laughs> it was fun. It was over guard room area. You can get through it up there too, but here. All right, one second. Moving, catching up with you guys. Boop. Yeah. Boop. I will once I get, once you get everything here. I'll open the door. Beth can open the door. Okay. Opening door. More guards. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Let's open the door. Give me one second. Um. Well. They've definitely charged in. <laughs> and there's more guards. Yeah, door guards. Cool. I was, it would have been very awkward if you just sent the, the tried to send the peasants by themselves. <laughs> yeah, it should be fine, guys. Just go for <laughs> yeah, it. Just go for it. We cleared the way. I forgot we left the... Uh... Left the stairs a slide because we're bad people. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're bad and we should feel bad. This is where you're gonna kill us. That was the irony because I was like, "Yep." <laughs> I mean, you already knew that stuff comes back. <laughs> it's just you guys avoided these guys for a while. <laughs> All right, uh, door guards go first. I'm gonna do this. Look, they're all big people. So then we just go back behind, close the door, they're too big to get through. <laughs> they can fit through. Ah. <laughs> no. All right, goes to uh, Biff Burton. All right. Hey, put one in range for you. I'll just move the corpses Here out. Here we go. Way. Gonna go with the one... Uh... I'm going to stand here. Okay. I'm going to start wailing on the one to the left of me. Sounds good. All right, hit for 11. Hit for 10. And hit for 9. Well, he grew after one having down. a super mushroom and then died. So that's one down. Do you wish to move anywhere else? Bring it. Nope. All right. Goes to... Uh, Zern. I'm gonna step to here. Oh, crap. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Alright, I'm, uh... <laughs> who's, who's looking like they're uh, not having a good time? Um, the one that's dead already. I see a dead one. It's over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, move that out of the way. I am going to, I guess, hit the guy up front. Okay. Take your shot. First attack misses, second attack hits for 12. Oh, we should be counting your crits. <laughs> Count. And then I'm going to move out of the way. All right, goes to Orin. Mm. This, this is rough. That one got shot. I'll get closer, and I'll, I'll get out of the way. <laughs> All right. And I'm just going to produce flames on the one that... Alright, go for it. Mistake. Fortunately, it's a miss. Alright. Goes to Asta. Asta is going to have to fire... Out of thing. Asta is literally down two firebolts. 
So she'll use a firebolt. In my lack. Crit, 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 uh, crit, 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 crit in a good way. Uh, I hit, and I did minimum damage. <laughs> All right, well, that was a start. Uh, I'll go ahead and... They're not going to be on the initiative track, but I'll do that. I'll do supporting fire from a peasant. Thanks, huh? Miss. Obi. Uh, Dang. This guy doesn't have a ranged weapon, so... All right. Go ahead and I want to hear some... make your attack opportunity, Biv. And do. You hit for eights, and that stops him. Oh, thank Still you. alive, but he can't. He, you. he is stuck. All right. Um, Unfortunately, here comes the rest. Here comes another. He's going to melee uh, Biv. And Dorg. I see him sharing his card. Really good. It's going to be good times. All right. Just barely a miss. And be glad, too, because they're using the second number now. <laughs> All right. And then these three are going to go do some javelin, javelin foo here. All right. One's going to fire at Asta. Because they can aim through that door. Where's my Dorgar? There he is. His range is... Okay. So first Asta. Okay, miss. One on Biv. Miss. And why not? One more on Biv. Uh, take nine damage. Definitely could have been a lot worse. <laughs> How wounded is Biv? It's kind of impossible to tell if you know Biv is alive or dead anymore. <laughs> He's just the soul of the boot now. <laughs> he has been whittled down and rebuilt. I mean, to be at this point, is it really the same Biv at this point? If you rebuilt him every every cell. <laughs> All right, Biv, it is your move. Um, this one is the one that's been heavily wounded. I'm going to try to finish off that okay. one. All right, he's dead. I'm gonna focus up on the one that's hitting me. Okay. Miss. You still have your follow up, and that's a uh, you can roll one d four because you still have uh, bless. That turns into a hit, so nine damage. So, all right, same put. Yep, that's fair enough. Goes to Zern. I'm gonna step here, and uh, then I guess here I'm gonna hit the one right in front of Biz. Sounds good. Thanks, bud. Uh, I tried. Honest. Okay, Oren. All right. Well, I'm going to. Just how how injured do you feel, Biv? <laughs> well, I've been much much worse before, but I'm certainly not anywhere close to being good. Um, but uh, I think we have other things to deal with. All right. Well, I'm going to shillelagh then and then smack. Okay. Remember, dead people can't reduce our health any further. All right. uh, All miss. Right. Bingo. Just Asta. Yeah, for being enlarged, I guess. She'll take the shot. And unfortunately, she has zero. Actually, there is one more thing she can do, and it could kill the party. <laughs> She'll tell these guys to go away. <laughs> Just <laughs> great. She has because I, I was like because she has to use Talisa Chaos, so she's at the one d two mark. She's used all of her spell slots, but she still has one more spell. We're ready. All right, go ahead and whoever hasn't done it, roll one d two. Uh, uh, 1d2? 1d2, because she's used Tides of Chaos. Nope. Alright. Uh, you can roll 1d20 now. <laughs> so damn close. Hey, both times. <laughs> one away both times. I kind of wish you had gotten the first one so I can at least get my Tide of Chaos back. 
Um, she's gonna cast. She's gonna use her sp innate spell, uh, darkness. Her what? Um, she's a tiefling, so she has access. She, to, she has the innate ability to do darkness once per day. Oh, nice. Or once per long rest, rather. So fifteen foot. To draw that shape now. All right, so five feet, ten feet, fifteen feet. She's going to put it uh, pretty much right there. <laughs> uh, the, the one door guard that's in melee can see, but everyone, everything else is inky blackness. Lies. I can see just fine. <laughs> With my dark vision, can I see? Uh, no. No. Yeah. Oh, it's magical darkness. Yeah. The, only th the only thing, the only exception Damn. is um, certain spells, and of course, the warlock uh, double sight. Damn it, Asta! Couldn't you put it a little further for my reaction? <laughs> well, I mean, it, she could, but then those guys would be able to melee you normally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that takes care of Asta's turn. She didn't explode, which is a little disappointing. Uh, commoner can't help anymore because there's darkness, but that's okay. All right, Dorgars. Hey. So we'll start with uh, Biv Burton. Missed. Boop, boop, boop. Um,. Going to attempt to attack uh, Oren. You can go ahead and do your attack opportunity. It's going to be at disadvantage, uh, Biv. And, and would I not be able to stop him from getting to Oren because I can't see? Uh, no. Well, no. The thing is, is um, I, I, it's not because he's it going to attack range. It's because he's attacking Oren. So you do see the axe come out. Okay, that's that's yeah. why I thought. Yeah, that's All what's right. happening. All right, I'll give it a shot. Uh, you can roll your one d four. You hit, so eight damage on that one, oh, and right. then it's going to be disadvantage on Orin, which misses. I was expecting double crits. <laughs> double crits, <laughs> double crits with freaking you know enlarged size damage. Max damage. <laughs> mm, Orin's dead. It's like it's like getting hit with an erupting earth, but a pickaxe. Uh, and this guy's going to move back. All right, goes to Biff Burton. Okay, uh, the one directly in front yeah, of Yeah, you can attack that one normally. It's much more bloody, yeah. yeah. Hits for 12. Uh, don't, bother, uh, don't bother, because 1d4 is not going to save it. And last attack hits and kills. So we'll shrink him down and kill him. And I'll move his body out of the way, just for simplicity. Right, we're getting there. Yep, wearing them down, little by little. Um... If I move, I'll attack, so I'll just stay put. Okay. Um, or I'll provoke. Zeran, you have clear line of sight, thanks to Devil Sight, so you can, see, you can shoot just fine. <laughs> I'm going to step up here and see what's going on. You're not sure why everyone's complaining. You see just fine. It's like, what's, what's going on, guys? What's, <laughs> what's up? It. <laughs> it's all black and white to you. Actually, in your case, I think it's all legit. You can see yeah. color. I am going to hit the guy way, way in the back, because he thinks he's safe. Yeah. Little does he know. He is only half safe. <laughs> Takes 13. Got it. All right. There, that's fine. Uh, Oren. Can I make an attack at disadvantage on the guy in yeah, front of me? If you, can, you can melee. It's fine. But it'll be at disadvantage. Yeah. Which apparently um, you've adapted right. since the last time. <laughs> so eight damage. Uh, do you wish to move? Or are you good? Uh, well, I take. Uh, do I think I do? I uh, mm. that way. Yep, yeah, that'll work. And whoop, 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 whoop. she'll go ahead and uh, just uh, shot. Well, actually, let's see. What's her view at? Uh, do, 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 do. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll shoot at the, uh... Actually, I can't... Well... Yeah, I'll just shock and grasp the guy in front. It'll be at disadvantage. I don't want to deal with... Semantics. <laughs> Alright, uh... Shock and grasp. Still hits for 11. Also, I think shock and grasp is at advantage when you attack metal armor. <laughs> so it would have been... Normal. Alright. Killed that guy. And she's like, Alright. I'm gonna move back. <laughs> Almost done. We're, we're doing good, guys. Doing good. Alright. Uh, this door guard here is gonna go... Invisible. Uh, fucking course. Go ahead and make your attack opportunity, Biv. Alright, you hit for 15 and stops him. Alright. He grumbles. Alright, goes to Biv. I'm gonna try to finish that one. Okay. And this would be a normal attack. Yes. Alright, hit for 7. Miss. And roll the uh, blind, uh, the, the bless. Alright, so that's a total of 16 damage, and that kills him. Uh, I'll take a step forward. Okay, sounds good. I'm going to stand on top of this dead guy, if that's yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Go for it. Uh, Zeren, it's your turn. Right now, I guess you don't really see anything, even with the darkness. There are no more people? Uh, the one that you blasted went invisible. Invisible. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I'm going to... Uh, see, I moved 10, yeah. 15, 20, 25, 30. Let him come find <laughs> <by> me. <laughs> all right, all right. Are you ready? Are you ready? Dang. Action or something? That was a good idea. I'm gonna dance in the middle of the dark. No, yeah, I'll ready my elder right, class. All right. uh, Oren, what do you got? <laughs> into the dark. Yeah. Everyone, darkness yeah. party. I'm gonna stand behind them to prepare a produce flame. Okay. Asa sees, well, at least sees Oren in the ready. Can't really see Zoran. So go ahead and snap her fingers. Remove the darkness. Oh. Oh. Which is going to prompt this guy to go ahead and take a shot. Which is going to prompt you guys to take your shots. So everyone, just throw your shit. <laughs> I feel like uh, hasn't hit. Except I can't. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, you're out of range. Oh, that sucks. All right, so you're gonna do 14, and he's gonna get one. Ja he's gonna get his one javelin throw on on Zarin here. You ready, Zarin? As I'll ever be. Yes. Damn it! And that 14 damage killed him. <laughs> so she removed the darkness. Javelin just flies right past Zarin. Zarin blasts a hole in the uh, in the door guard, and as he falls and shrinks back to his normal size, you see a little fireball just like land just short. <laughs> <laughs> right there. <laughs> yeah, it's the... <laughs> Aww. loot the body. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and give you. I'll, I'll roll the loot real quick. There was what's. While we collect our NPCs. One, uh, that... Corral them. Yeah. Oh. There were six of them. All right. So that'll be that. Uh, 62 gold. I will continue to head. Okay. I'll move you. I'll gather you guys up and move you guys through the, the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> yeah. The stairs are up to the yeah. left, though. So, Bev was like, adventure! As the little boot stopped stomping in the wrong direction. Mm, you're not going the right way, Bev. Just keep going north, Bev. You'll get there eventually. <laughs> it's the plants round. You got, you got this. Uh, can I. Alright, this is going to be slightly awkward because I have to. Somehow. Okay, got it. Alright, you can go ahead and scroll the way up. <laughs> Yay for stairwells! Alright, I'm gonna ready an action as Bib <laughs> opens the door. <laughs> oh, I can open the door, Bib can open the door. Could have been a lot worse. Like you guys could have been even like even more out of stuff and <laughs> all of a sudden you guys are like, hey door guards that are waiting for us. Other way. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. <laughs> All right. 
All right, so you, you probably recognize most of this. There's a door out over here. The door out to the right, yeah. Which I vote on All taking. Right. Hold on. <laughs> I I, could, I, I, I really want to imagine he's kicking the door and you can literally hear his bones breaking because <laughs> they're so damaged. I'm going to cast Suggestion on Viv and have him open yeah, the door. Yeah, but the thing is, his version of open is different from your version of open. <laughs> so, so you guys, Red Larch. Yeah, so, yep, you guys are heading back to Red Larch. Uh, it has been... It's still the same day at this point, so... So you guys are just going to head straight back? It's about midday. It's, a, it's about midday at this point. And... Well, we could, you know, set up camp, take the long rest here, and then go back down and hopefully save the guy instead of wasting two or three days getting back to town. I actually like that. I mean, yeah. a long rest is eight hours. That's true. <laughs> go back to town, I guess. Fine. No, no, no. I mean, we can just assault the place at night. I mean, fuck it. It's not like there's going to be daylight will matter in the first place. As long as I get a short rest, I get my spell slots back. So, very, unfortunately, uh, most, unfortunately, most of the people I don't, don't get, don't get, get stuff back in short rest, and you still have a catatonic person and the two uh, abductees. Yeah. All right, you let's get, get back to our wagon four. and that's get a, them back to C. town. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys head back uh, straight back. Um, I will. Yeah, but take what C's you get. <laughs> Not in mine. Freaking orange, like zero is still kind of a positive number. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah. All right. Let me. We didn't lose anybody. Guys, it's all good. Uh, put you guys in the blank spot and then move you to the Bane map. Okay. So you guys head back to Red Lark. Yeah. Um, that's good berry. So you guys, as you guys uh, start uh, approaching the Red Lark, um, you see a plume of black smoke coming from part of the town. Don't have a bit. Uh, Hooray! It's, it's literally a full day travel, back. practically. So it's actually pretty dark. <laughs> it's like nighttime at this point. Yeah, you guys didn't stop. Right, but so we but we didn't stop, right? Yeah, running on fumes. Okay, uh, so we're still season... running on fumes. All right, so, so right. two the, um, the red light map. Let's go. The, the smoke Let's seems to be coming from behind the. What's the place called? Do 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 do. I get to look up these places again, and uh, it's right, Lark. Uh, doo -doo -doo. That's a safe journey. It's pretty much in the. Um, I'll go ahead and switch you over to that map. Why not? Uh, can I? Can I do it in one drag? Yes, I can. All right. So where you see that little number seven and that little clearing area, that seems to be where the um, smoke is coming from. So it's like behind the the freaking tavern, the Helmet High Sun, and the freaking uh, clothier. I um, tell the NPCs Swing to go sword. to the sword, whatever. I can't think of the name of it. I'm sorry. Yeah, where, we're, where we've been staying, and tell them to uh, bunker okay. down there for the moment until we show yeah, back they, up to figure they, out. What's they're going like, on. "Yep, they're exhausted, tired, aching, just like you guys are. But probably they're actually probably in better shape than you guys are at this point." <laughs> I. Recklessly pu I recklessly push Biff. As you were like pushing him, like pieces of Biff square. are falling off. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. What's up? Hold on. Uh, last thing I heard was there smoke coming from oh. the town, and then everything went. So the smoke is coming from Discord. kind of that's, uh, uh, the middle area uh, where the number seven is, like the actual number seven, not the not the building. Um, and um, Zaren told the um the, the the people that you guys rescued to go to the swinging sword, and then he proceeded to try, try pushing you towards the uh, the danger. <laughs> you have had you have had zero rest. Have we had a parts long, of you anyway. Smoke is rest? 
Definitely not. <laughs> not even a short rest on our travel. All right. Ah, fuck you. Let's go. Well, I mean, you we mean did that wagon that's filled with uh, one of us could have taken giant... a short rest in the wagon. <laughs> Oil flask. <laughs> <laughs> all right fair enough all right so <laughs> all right so you guys head towards the uh the clearing okay yeah um, you can definitely smell the smoke and suits and ash and you can see a bunch of like blackened some of the trees are blackened around it and you see you think it looks like a signpost that's completely blackened over with soot there's a big pile of soot uh kind of in the middle that's still smoldering Uh, are going to there shout people uh, around? Well, yeah, is there people especially around? Especially no. Not really any people around at this time of night, apparently. Even though there's obviously something burning. I'm going to again shout out what the hell right. is going so on as, as I approach the soot. the soot. You see some pitch black grasping hands pop out of the, uh, the big pile of uh, soot and ash. It's like grasping for a bit. And then you see a soot-covered head with a long uh, with a ponytail pop out, and it seems to be wearing goggles. I would, would like to try to reach out to offer a <laughs> hand to pull him out. <laughs> Looks to be very uh, rather short, short arm, you know, and halfling gnome goblin size. <laughs> and she, it, I'd selfie. Um. So as Does you reach for her, she's like, Ah, oh, we're under attack! And she, like, kicks some soot in the direction that you're at. And then she goes into a fighting stance facing the completely opposite direction. Ah, being flanked! She kicks I you in the shin. I attempt to rotate her to face me. <laughs> and, he, and he dies. I take three and steps back. Like, and and then sit she's down. like, hey, let, let me go, let me go. That kills I'm baby small, but I'm scrappy. <laughs> What's, what's going on, Sophie? So we're, the pitch, we're, this we're, is completely, we're not like she's completely here to kill black. you. <laughs> and she grabs her pitch black goggles that are completely covered and pulls them up. And you can see the bright uh, gr uh, bluish green shiny eyes of Sophie Waywalket, of Clan Waywalket. She's blinking. She's like, oh, hi, guys. Mm. She looks what's going on? a pile of soot. Thanks for a bit. I think it needs more fire. You think it mm, needs more fire. Can I ask what it is? She's like trying to push all the soot out of the way. You can see like okay. in the big pile there's like kind of like metal, metal, metal pieces like rods and other things. Oh, and have you seen a have you seen Sockum? Okay. I have kind of wandered off Sockham saying something about last, last world time. domination and flesh bags. So he might be in one of his moods. Oh, don't worry about it. I mean, he'll his battery will run what? out eventually. I don't know. How long is eventually? <laughs> How did Fair you enough. get a battery? And and you know, she like looks at Biv. You smell. I washed once. <laughs> so there's no immediate I don't know, danger. you guys look pretty dangerous. <laughs> Gangry could be pretty dangerous. Oh, actually, one, one thing since you're here. Uh, have you taken a look at my sign? The one I, 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 so I walk over to clear off and wipe and it's the like, scoot off of it. Like, you find it's, like, been blackened and burnt and stuff, and it's not really readable. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh. I think we can't read it. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't realize. I'm sorry. It's not visible. How did you make all this so <laughs> We were cutting half a day. So much. <laughs> There's so much. 
This is like like six trees worth of soot at least. I don't understand how much tree versus soot ratio there is, but this has to at least. Well, I, you can't really describe genius, um, but oh, I didn't realize Orin didn't know how to read. Um, so I'll go. Uh, she's like, one second. She takes off her soot cover backpack. And she opens it and she kind of dives into it. And she seems to get deeper than what is actually viable volume wise for the bag. And she, you can see that she's like, she pulls out a cat that hisses and goes scampering off. She finds some pieces of, you're not sure, you think you fought saw a yo-yo. And then you see piles of soot that apparently were in her bag. And then she pulls out a, what looks like a little pamphlet. She says like, dust it off a little bit. And she goes, here you go. Handing it to who? Uh, she's actually not pointing, handing it off to anyone. She's in a completely opposite direction. I grab the pamphlet from her. I walk around <laughs> in front of her and take it politely and say, thank you. And I open the pamphlet. All right. So it literally says in big, bright, colorful letters, Sylphie's greatest shoppy ever. With a bunch of R's at the end and an exclamation mark. And then it seems to have a list of items, you, most of which you probably have not heard of, though there's, you did notice a drift globe in there. And it looks like a bunch of prices. She's creating a small shop. <laughs> <laughs> well. And not just small because she's a gnome. <laughs> You're on thin ice, orc boy. <laughs> she's like, I know I am. There, that'll probably finish him off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it won't take much. She's like, well, um, travel's getting a bit dangerous, and uh, I found it's actually pretty profitable to, uh, you know, my inventions can be pretty profitable if I just, you know, make them and sell them. So I'm kind of opening a shop here. And that will go to fund my greatest research ever. How fun. And what is your greatest research ever? It's a secret. It's a secret. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we'll, well, we'll maybe come visit sometime when we aren't half dead. But uh, pretty much well, you'll have to tell me what you'll have to pay ahead of time. And it'll take me about a week to probably... Well, invent what you need. Fair enough. Will your secret shape the world in your image? Mm, I think that's what Sockham said. Where did you last see Sockham? Um, well, he he did his signature mood to Rockham, and then he kind of made some weird so sounds like he was cheering for himself, and he had his arms up, and then he jumped out the window. And then that's when I got kicked out of the the tavern for my inventions. Hmm. Well, well that's. Oh, but yeah, I, I'm you... opening a shop since uh, well, combat's a bit a bit annoying, and I don't get to really invent much while I'm hitting things. Yeah. Well, that... But I mean, once I get done with my fancy invention, I might be willing to just, well test it out. Well, if you need any help building your shop... I'm also the world's greatest alchemist, know. so I could possibly make potions, but much like the other stuff, I'll have to, you have to order ahead of time. Okay. Um, I'm going to get alcohol and then a nap, because I have pieces missing from me. I killed land sharks today. But, but they I'm were... tired. Mm. It's kind of nudges nudges Zarin. Um, does he know that sharks go on water? Yeah, he's a bit out of it. He's not having a good day. Oh, I see. Want some suit? Uh, I, I, yes. <laughs> we'll take, take whatever you want. There's tons of it everywhere. I'll take two handfuls and then start walking to the sing swinging sword. Alright. Yeah. Swinging uh, sword. Selfie shakes and a bunch of black dust goes everywhere. But she doesn't get any less pitch black. And then she's like, all right, well, back to work. And she pulls down her goggles again, and she reaches for her tools. She paws over a hammer. Then she reaches for I, a hairbrush and starts hitting a piece of metal with it. I stop her for a moment <laughs> and wipe her goggles off so she can see, and then walk away. <laughs> oh, well, that's much better. And she keeps hitting it with a brush. And I'll, yeah, let's go. 
I'm like, oh, let's go walk. Let's go get rest. <laughs> Asta's and already to- Asta's already gone. <laughs> She's like, I didn't sign up. Yeah, hey, no, I we're like, yeah, Asta, we'll get you here. We need to get Asta her. All right. Portion, so then... I'll let you guys do your loot splitting. I'll go ahead and get total of experience. I don't know if it's gonna be enough to level you guys. But we'll find out. I yeah. head back to the end to address the uh, NPCs we have. Well, I figure we'll just call it a night. I, I buy uh, buy everybody uh, a room. Okay. And uh, say so we'll all get together in the morning after everybody's had a little bit to compose themselves. Sounds good. 